Welcome to this new update of the latest patch for eFootball 2025. In addition to bringing some new features, this update primarily aims to fix the replay bug that many have complained about. Stop it, stop replay, please. Fix it. Stuck on the replay. We remind you that the first version of the patch was only a beta. The modders are putting in a lot of effort to provide us with a better gaming experience and, above all, more immersion. So let's be understanding towards them. And please, help me create more content for the channel by liking and subscribing. It really helps me a lot. Thank you. This patch is online compatible and comes with many new features. Dot. It allows you to unlock a large number of teams in the game's trial mode, including new teams that didn't exist in the game, such as Dortmund, Bayern Leverkusen and Olympiakos, as well as five legendary and all-star teams and many other teams. The patch also provides new kits of the season 2024-2025 for all teams present in the game and all the latest transfers. The patch also includes the integration of a new scoreboard 2025 version, new balls and new boots. Get ready to explore how this ultimate patch will transform your gaming experience in eFootball 2025. Ready to jump in? Let's get started! To install the patch, begin by extracting the eFootball 2025 patch after downloading it. Download links are available in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you very much. Once the extraction is complete, install the patch on your desktop, then copy the contents of the CPK folder into the game's location, which is in the eFootball folder of Steam. Remember to create a backup folder beforehand so you can revert to the original game whenever you want. Next, copy the contents of the pack folder into the game's location as well. Once again, remember to create a backup folder beforehand. Otherwise, you won't be able to delete the patch when you want to. This is very important. Now, go to the PES console folder. Then rename the three PC0100 files by removing the letter P from each file. Next, copy the three files into the pack folder of the game. Don't forget to create a backup as well. After that, copy the eFootball file located in the Win64 folder. Once again, don't forget to create a backup folder. There you go. Once finished, launch the game and enjoy. To remove the patch, Simply delete the files you added at the beginning and replace them with the ones you placed in the backup folder. Don't forget to like and subscribe to support the channel. Thank you very much.